Okay, so the question then that brings us to is, are there politics in science? I think that's kind of an obvious question that comes out of some of the things that I just mentioned to you of examples. Um, does it make any sense to say we're looking for truth? If the statistics can be played one way, they can be played another way. Um, is science a really a pure uh, thing? I think these are sort of very deep philosophical questions that you encounter very quickly in doing this kind of work. Um, does morality or conviction drive our research? That was the one thing that I felt uh, with nursing was really clear that people had a very strong conviction about um, about nursing, but we see this all the time in many, many other um, instances. Um, if uh, we have one of our uh, fellows at STATS does a lot of work on drug use and abuse, and she finds that the reaction of so many people who are just horrified that there are drug abusers in the world um, and who have a real moral outrage about it are, uh, are willing to come to conclusions that really stem from this kind of judgment that's going on and it makes it very difficult to do it. Whose voice is loudest? I mentioned this earlier. Um, when when uh, some people get their, their opinions in the press and other people don't, where does funding come from? Um, that's a big one, of course. People are very suspicious of anything funded by uh, industry. I personally think they should also be suspicious of organizations that fund things out of any ideological framework. So um, a lot of times we see uh, studies about pollution that are put out by environmental organizations that, that, that sometimes their scientific content is not all that different than in fact what scientists have been saying for many years. The interpretation is very different. And I'm not sure, you know, uh, I mean, when you ask, would you trust a scientist about the scientific results or would you trust an environmentalist about the, the scientific results? Uh, a, sci a, a scientist is invested in the science. An environmentalist is invested in keeping, you know, in the environment. So there are different perspectives as to how they're going to interpret the same, the same work. I wanted to show you another movie um, that, that claimed that hot dogs cause cancer. And this was a movie um, uh, trying to encourage political action, and it was put out by the Physicians for Responsible Medicine. I thought I'd live forever. I was dumbfounded when the doctor told me I have late stage colon cancer. Deciding between surgery and radiation wasn't easy. Who knows what sort of side effects I'll have. It's been really tough on my husband, my kids, and me. Cancer affects the whole family. Cancer risk starts early. Even small amounts of processed meats can lead to adult cancers. So again, um, a rather shocking video to have children talking about their lives being ruined by cancer because they're eating hot dogs at school. and. Um, I'm not going to really address the issue of how children felt um, watching that, that video, but um, I did want to talk about CNN's coverage of the video and the claim. So, so it's the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. The CNN um, pointed out that this group is an animal rights group who wants us all to be vegans. Okay, so that's actually... <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a fair statement about this organization, and I think they do a lot of really interesting work at what the impacts are of animal products, but um, what, I, what I want to emphasize here is not really to criticize the uh, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine um, in, in this particular moment, but rather to criticize CNN's coverage of it. Um, because what CNN did was affirm the link between processed meats, nitrates in particular, and cancer, and they cited two uh, organizations, American Institute for Cancer Research and American Cancer Society. And it makes it very convincing um, as a kind of naive viewer who's not somebody who studies cancer that, in fact, there's a really clear link. Um, and then they make the claim even that a hot dog a day causes an increase by 21% in cancer. I'm not sure what exactly they mean over lifetime or like, you know, every, every hot dog every day. Um, I mean, a hot dog every single day, or what exactly they mean by this, but it's a pretty surprising statement, and cancer sort of the most generic form. But then we looked at what did CNN not say. So the American Medical Association did an entire literature review on the link between nitrates in particular, which is what is of concern in processed meats, and cancer. And they came out with a statement saying that epidemiological studies cannot confirm any association 
between the presence of nitrites or nitrates in food and the formation of NOCs and the causation of human cancer. So I'm not trying to stand on one side of this issue as much to point out that it's a little bit unrealistic for CNN to do a, a, a center story on an organization that's considered somewhat fringe and not talk about what the American Medical Association is saying about this topic, especially if they did an entire literature review. They're not just commenting on it, okay? Um, the AMA also published a letter in the New York Times dismissing that, that uh, organization and saying that their tactics were unethical. That was actually based on previous things that they had done. Um, this got cut off. Um, but the uh, cancer link hasn't been shown to be statistically significant, and it's actually um, clouded by recall bias that didn't show up on the slide. Um, so, so the point is that recall bias is really important in cancer research because people who get cancer actually will invent exposure. They will overestimate the previous exposure, and they will say, oh, yeah, I ate a hot dog every day. <laughs> um, so it's an important thing to ask whether there's bias and how people are responding if you're going to try to do some kind of retro retrospective study. So, um, so when we ask about are there politics in science, um, you might start to say after you do this work long enough, is there any science in politics? <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and it, my answer is a kind of knee-jerk reaction, is very little. Um, but I want to kind of tell you a little bit about some statistics first before I kind of get into that. And I'm going to bring up something extremely political after this.